Hey there, everybody. Thet here, and welcome back to Thet Plays Oxygen. Not included. We've got a whole bathroom area. It's going all right. Now that I got this valve going, actually teaching me uh, how I can use this stuff more effectively. I think it's pretty interesting. Included water is only at 86 degrees, so hopefully that'll that might be able to help cool this area down a bit. I mean, we do have these batteries there, which are not helping my situation. In fact, maybe if I... Hmm. Maybe if I keep digging over here, dig all this out. And then put another wall in here. We can help make sure that the temperature doesn't pass through the wall as effectively. But I do want to go ahead and take care of that. I want to get into this cold biome soon, too, so I can put some of these batteries down there. I've already, I've already goofed up a little bit with the temperature situation. That said, we're also going to dig down, get into this pool. And that's going to be exciting, at least I hope. It's also time-consuming, but Dismas is working on it. My man has the plan. And it's a great plan. Hello, little pufflet. How you doing? Pufflet Prince, no less. How you doing? It's a bit snobby. I don't know if there's an actual difference between them. More decor, maybe? I don't know. Anyway. I'm not too worried about them. What I am worried about is, yeah! Get more of that stuff dug out. I want in there. Plus, there's a lot of oxygen in here, too. I'll take some free oxygen. Right, this thing is still pumping out steam like crazy. So this is going to be hot water. So I do need to be careful about how it's used. Unlike the water here, which is a fine temperature, to be honest. I think I actually want to research some uh, ways of cooling down water, too. Right now, we're researching refined objects, which is going to give us the fire poles, which is something else I want. I'd love to have a fire pole running down here. That'd be beautiful. It'd be perfect. Could it even have a little bit of professionalism to it, but don't get it twisted. We still haven't done too much with the automation yet, and I think, you know, let's test out some automation. Maybe. How would I do that? What's something that I could, like, turn off with no issue? I don't know. Is this drawing power? I mean, most of these things don't draw of any power when they're not doing anything. Hmm. We got this running around. Is this, how's the pipes looking? Still pretty good. Yeah. Wait. All the sick water is... Oh, yeah, that's right. It backs up here until it gets to 10 kg. Yeah, this keeps kind of pouring on out. That's still flowing probably a little bit too fast. Can I bring this down to, like, 5? In fact, can we just go straight to 1 gram per second? Yeah, 1,000 milligrams per second. Let's actually go. Bring this down as low as it can go. This valve is, uh... Basically gonna prevent wasting our waste. And yeah, now we're up to 9.5 in here. So soon... It'll start going through this area. Yeah, right now this is all going... Across here. Or at least it should be. Well, some of it is. Kind of. Not really, because it's still going up through here. Gotta wait until that's all done before that'll work the way that I want it to. But yeah, this is... This is working about correctly here. So once this is all done, then the filtered water should be able to go in a full circuit. 
At least that's what I'm thinking. Yeah, this thing's actually full of 10 kilograms of water right now. All right, all right. This might work. This might actually work. I'm liking how it's looking so far. Not much progress down here yet. That's okay. That's okay. Our crops appear to be growing. Mostly fine. Stress is low. Food is okay. Not great, but okay. And we got this little pool of water down here, too. It's polluted. Full of uh, food poisoning, so I don't really want to use it for much. But it's available. Yeah, see, some of the temperature is still getting a little higher than I want it to be. What if we made the tile out of something else? Do we have insulated? We do not yet. We need temperature modulation research. Hmm. Thinking, what if I did abyssalite tiles instead? Because abyssalite tiles don't let anything through. Or le at least let very little through. Yeah, like that. Replace all those with abyssalite tiles. Is it the best use of Abyssalite? Probably not. Hey, Vasilla's master of the art student job. Awesome. So let's go ahead and switch her job. See, right now she's art student. 13 morale. Holy jeez. Silver remains only at 10. That's not good. Uh, Well, what else do you want to be, Vasilla? Was there anything else? An artist. Well, yeah, that makes... That does make sense. You do have the morale for it, technically, but... I think right now we're going to teach you some other things here. Go ahead and do general engineering for now. Put on some new hats. Alright. Look at all these hatches. Some of them are expecting, which means they're going to... They're going to toss out some more uh, eggs here when there's a chance. Which means it's probably time to crack some eggs. Let's go ahead and crack a couple of hatchling eggs here. Refined objects. All right, we can make the fire pole and the temp shift plates, which are good as well. well this is what I'm looking forward to. All right. Let's go. That's actually a high priority, this, as well. There we go. That'll increase our productivity by a good amount. Or at least it should. All right. Cool. Now it looks like it'll probably flow the way I want it to. I haven't made any progress down here yet. Yeah, that's unfortunate. So I kind of want to... I want to put cooler coolers going up, I think. I want to get all the water drained down here and then get some water coolers and pump the water up. Only problem with that is where do I dump the hot... Thermal nullifier. I guess over here. Yeah, I think. Let's see, we got the fire poles. That was important. Don't get it twisted. We can do improved plumbing. Hydro sensor. Ooh. Comes active or on standby when liquid enters the chosen range. That's interesting. But. Advanced automation, smart storage, smelting. HVAC and temperature modulation. I mean, I want a type of HVAC. I want I want water vac. Where is the uh the hydro fan, the hydro cooler? There it is, liquid tuning. Aha. Oh yeah, the same place where the tepidizer is. Uh do I go for that right now? Or do I do temperature modulation? I guess I'll go with liquid tuning. Get that improved plumbing as well. Then maybe I could have these automated too. So when the water gets to a certain certain fullness, we can have it start pumping out water the way we want it to, I think. I think that's how it works. I don't know how anything works. I don't know why I'm looking at the decor overlay either, necessarily, but... 
but yeah, this should work. Oh, geez, this water is hot! This 80, 90 degree water, it's gonna heat up everything around here. Alright, having the water circulate is good, but not if it's sitting at 100 degrees. That's bad for this business right here. I think what we need to do is uh, get down here and get some wheeze warts. That's going to have to become an eventuality here. That said, this fire pole is extending. It's close to done, too. Can we crack some eggs? Cool. Can we uh, make some omelets, then? There we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Probably need another uh, grill so that they can automatically make the omelets on the other one. It's kind of a weird thing to have to do, but it's what you gotta do. If it, then it's what you gotta do, you know? Let's go ahead and slap up some power with that. Boom. Eventually that'll all get done. It's not a huge priority. Not like the fire pole was. The fire pole was a pretty big priority. All that is priority seven. Dismiss is a little too carried away with research right now. Don't get it twisted. It's important stuff. All right, I think I'm going to change the priorities for a little bit and turn off the proximity priority. Yeah. Always choose the hot, closest high priority errand to perform. So let's use the hidden priority hierarchy and see how that changes tomorrow. Hey, we got some omelets, baby. Actually beautiful. Should probably put them in a refrigerator eventually. Yeah, this thing's only going to be holding 360, so we could totally slap a refrigerator in here somewhere. Easiest way would probably just to be replace one of these with a refrigerator. Okay. We got meal lice. Yes, we do. We got meal lice. How about you? Okay, so we've changed how the priorities are working for now. Let's see what everyone ends up doing. Alright, we still got the fire pole done, which is great. Actually basically what was expected. I don't want to tap into this polluted water up here. I shouldn't have to explain why. I don't want it down here. So we got some chlorine in our base as well, but it's it's down at a acceptable level for now. We're also out of algae. Which is not an acceptable level. Zero algae is not acceptable. So it's time to crack in over here when we get the chance. Oh yeah, we also have the uh, temp shift plates if we want to move temperature around any. Right now, the best way I could think of using those is actually to just leave them alone until we have some some wheeze warts. I see sleet wheat down here. It's not exactly what we're looking for. It's like what we're looking for is cousin or something like that. I'm trying to get as we don't need sleet wheat. I could totally turn this into a medical area, an actual med bay. I don't think the size is too bad for that either. Might have to think about that. Might have to. Anyway, stress is low. Food is doing pretty good. Oxygen is not being generated, of course, and that is a problem. Animals are being groomed. We have a bu quite a few eggs still. Two. Alright. Apparently we're getting building done over here. It's not too bad. Lots of polluted oxygen over here, but we'll get that dealt with. Not overly concerned. Nor am I concerned with this puff. 
Okay. We got algae in one of those deoxidizers. Still haven't gotten this done. It's not a it's not a terribly high priority though. Research is getting cranked out though. We almost have improved plumbing done already. Then we can slap in some sensors. I'm slightly excited. Of course, I could also just turn on the signal switch to allow us to turn everything on and off at once. I don't know if that's a high priority either. Gaseous element sensor. Not really. Doesn't seem that useful right away. Eventually, we'll have an actual farmer who can use this stuff. I mean, we have fertilizer already. So it would be worth getting a farmer. And that's probably going to end up being uh, Silvermane. Once he's done learning how to ranch completely and totally. Really should finish these off, too, and get that critter lure. I didn't even realize that we dug down here. You know, uh, let's, uh... You can struck this so that we can keep digging down if necessary, because there's a lot of algae sitting right here. All right, improved plumbing is done. We now do insulated pipes and liquid shutoff. Automatically turns off or on liquid flow using automated technology. So I could use automation to decide if I want the liquid to keep flowing or not. That's interesting. And then we got this hydro sensor. So if I put it like, put one. here here and here, they can sense the water level and then do something if it gets too high, as I understand it. I could be wrong. I've been wrong before and I will continue to be wrong in the future, but this is how I want to test it, okay? And honestly, if I'm going to do that, I kind of want to have it a separate pool for this water somewhere else. This, I, I want this to get filtered. This is all clean water. I mean, it's polluted, but it's quote-unquote clean. So I'd rather filter this and use it. Probably just put it in this pool for now. But this, would I would want the excess from here to go somewhere else. The question is where? Especially with it being 91 degrees. I'd love to dump it off in the cool area. Let it cool down. But then it... It would end up keeping its high temperature. Or no, it wouldn't keep its high temperature. It would keep its uh, germ count. Which does automatically die, but it automatically dies very slowly. I don't know. I'll figure this stuff out. Eventually. Hello there. How you doing, Mr. Puff? Throwing out slime? Well, that's nice. Use that to create more polluted water if we wanted. Yep. Oh. He's full. Oh. He's gonna do it. He's gonna do it. Oh, there it is. He made slime. Alright. So we've dug in over here. We haven't... Get this done, please. <laughs> I want to get down there. Ooh, natural gas. Lots of hydrogen. So, we could set up another... Another filter over here. I meant to choose refinement. We can set up another sieve over here. And have that filter the water and then bring it up here. What's the temperature of this water? Well, the temperature's going to be warm. Yeah, it's going to end up being warm because the filter has a set output temperature. So I think I really need to get uh, the aqua tuner going. I need to cool down this water. It needs to happen. So is this just natural gas sitting down here or is there an actual geyser or vent down there? This is only one way to find out. Dismas, how's it going? Doing research. Okay. 
I get this, I do. You're actually researching something we want done, which is liquid tuning. Nicely done. Alright, we have access to the stank water now. What's your, uh, what's your navigation here? Okay, you can get all the way to there. Good. Dig this out, and that'll bring that down. We also got some meat down here. I mean, it's mostly stale at this point, but it's meat. It's not a bad thing. Like, how are we doing in terms of temperature over here? 80? 80? 80's not bad. You're six degrees away from bad. Over here, 79. That's good. Got a little bit of chlorine in here. We want to eventually get rid of that, but not yet. Not yet. Yeah, once this research is done, we're probably just going to sit on research for a while. Holy jeez. Look at this coal. We got 20 tons of coal. We need to make an area down here for it. And I think I will put it next to a scrubber. And a smart battery. So it is smart with how it batters. But I was thinking of putting this area down here. I'm now double thinking that, and I'm thinking we should dig down some more. Grab this algae, and oh my god, is this all coal? Wow! Okay, grab all this algae, grab all this coal. Yeah. Bring a fire pole down here. And then we'll, uh... Yeah, it is going to be warm down here. It is going to be incredibly warm down here. So hopefully I can use that to crack over into this. There's our first wheeze wart. Beautiful, beautiful. It's exactly what we're looking for. A little bit of stress on Dark Shadow. Probably from stepping on all the yuck. Light wounds. He's got light wounds. Well, that's not good. His morale is 10 out of 12. Not as high as we would like it. Yeah, I'd like to get down here, grab all this algae, grab all of this coal, and then start a coal plant down here and get rid of these manual generators. Because what I could do is have a smart battery down here just connected to the coal generator, have a... probably even have a skimmer down here. I'm not 100% sure about that, but... Uh, let's see. Oh, no, it's an oxygen. I haven't researched it yet, either. It does take water. It does pollute the water. But we could have that we could have that filtered out. We could actually use this water over here for that. And have that all go in a circuit. While we have a couple of coal generators pumping out power. Six hundred watts. Hmm. Things to think about. Cause what does the skimmer take? The skimmer takes 120. The sieve to bring the water into a circuit takes 120. Eh, it's not too bad. So we'd be using 240 power if we did that. We'd need a pump down there. Speaking of which, we are done. We now have element sensor, thermo sensor, thermo aqua tuner, which is going to be great. Liquid pipe, liquid tepidizer. Cool. Comes active when the configured element is detected. Active on standby in a temperature range. Nice. Very nice. And then the aqua tuner and the tepidizer. This is what I want. I want one of these. Problem is, they take 1.2 kilowatts of power. So I would need a heavy watt wire for it. Alright, we're going to leave research on the floor for now. While we come up with some other things to do. So I'm thinking, yeah, we'll... Uh, We'll filter this water and we'll put it on, down over here. And that'll just be how that goes. Alright, can we not get over there? Is that our problem, Dismas? Talk to me. He cannot get over there. Okay. So here's what we do. At a priority 9, we dig this pool a little bit deeper. That's all you gotta do, dude. Yeah, now he can get down there. Do I know exactly what changed? Not really, but... Alright.
But we're getting it done. We're getting it done. Uh, yeah, I want to priority five this. Dig all this down. Hello, pinch of pepper nuts and hydrogen. Okay. Let's put our initial flooring here. There we go. That is farther on one side than it is on the other. There we go. Now it's wrong on the other side, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Ah! Yeah. Okay. Now it's even. Okay. So we're starting to dig down a little bit farther here. I want... I want in here. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Please, do me this favor. All right, food is still doing all right. 53 kcals here. I think we're almost ready to bring on a new duplicate. Almost. We're getting there. The time is coming. We're still out of algae, technically. So we're going to need some more. Clay, slime, slime, slime. There's some algae. I mean, there's also algae down here that we're digging into. That I would love to have. Don't get it twisted. Actually, I would want to have that be a regular dugout space. Alright. And that'll be good. All of this is still priority 9. Dismas is on it. He can get down to there. So he can slowly but surely work on this. I feel like I need an oxygen room over here. What's wrong with you? Oh, you don't grow in chlorine. Yeah, that's pretty bad. Sorry, we plan on skimming this carbon eventually. There's a bug stuck here. We'll get it out. We'll give it its freedom. There it is. How you doing, little dude? Picked up slime? Why slime? What are you doing with that slime, my dude? Alright, we're cracking into the algae now. So we should be making... Oop. This one's got hypothermia. Well, we got a bed for you. You go heal up. We got this moving down now. That's what I wanted. There's so much water pressure here. Or... Yeah, there's so much air pressure here. It's pushing this chlorine into one small square. It's kind of neat. Alright, got coal pet and pinch of pepper nut seeds and also some phosphorite down here, it looks like. But we almost got this pool dug into. Alright. And we're going to want one more, so... Uh This size should be enough for all the coal. There we go. We can put batteries up here. Uh, does a smart battery fit in that space? It does. All right. Cool. So this will be like our battery room. Actually, the temperature gets not too bad if you keep going down a little bit. But we're going to want to tap into this cold area here. Especially with these weasel warts. And by these, I mean this one. Hanging about. In fact, we're going to put a airlock in here instead of, uh... Instead of this. This is going to be an airlock. Which we'll use to dig out into there. That might work. That might work. It probably won't, but it might. You never know until you try. Isn't that right, Morb? That's right. This is a natural gas geyser. That's good. Having a source of natural gas is definitely a good thing. That's another way we can get power and polluted ox polluted um not oxygen. Polluted water, which we can turn into regular regular old clean water. Granted, it will take some time to get that going, but 
once we have that time, oh, it'll get going. All right. We go four high here. So we're going to do that. Then we would need another group of tiles. And then we can go four high here. Four high here. And we would need another group of tiles. And that'll get all the algae. Which is kind of what I was looking for there. So that's fantastic. We got it going on. Don't get it twisted. We're making oxygen. Plenty of it. Apparently. Some polluted oxygen floating up there. We do have carbon dioxide... Getting a little heavy. Here. I'm gonna... I'm gonna have a skimmer down here. To take care of some of that. Because that is unnecessary. Now don't crush eggs, please. Egg shells we can crush. Yeah, just crush egg shells until you can't crush egg shells anymore. You might as well. Yeah, now we're getting a little bit of a pool of algae going. It's not how algaes work. And this just isn't getting built yet, but that's okay. Got plenty of water sitting over here right now. Yeah, you see, it is warming this area up. Which I don't like. I'm wondering if we replace the, uh... Replace the pipes. I can't really replace them with abyss light. We don't have enough. But we do have... Igneous. Doesn't count as a... Doesn't count as an insulator, but it does help a little bit. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. I think I might want to just have a little area in here where I can basically pump full of hydrogen like I used to. And by like I used to, I mean I did that one time. I think that worked out very well when I did it. So I'd like to do it again. This is unreachable. In its current state. So we're gonna... You know what I'm gonna do? I'm actually gonna... Dig out like this. That should make a lot more of this... Reachable. But that's gonna happen all next time here at that place. Oxygen not included. We're making progress. We still only have five dudes, but I think we're about ready to go up to six. We have 57,000 KKLs. Which is above the 5k that I wanted before I... Or 50k. That I wanted before I started growing. So, I think we're about ready to take it to the next level. But if you enjoyed this episode of that, please, oxygen not included, make sure to let me know by giving a like. If you haven't already, feel free to subscribe for more, because it's going to keep coming. You know what? Probably won't stop coming. Thank you again for watching this episode of that, please. O-N-I, or Oni! My name is Thet, and I'll see you in the next video. Isn't that right, Dismas?